Hey, you guys. Leo. What's up, Leo? How y'all doing? How y'all popping? So, Leo, this message is going to be for you. It's just going to be a general message. We're going to do it short and sweet to pick up on your energy, Leo, for this weekend. I really do hope that th these readings do populate on YouTube um, before the weekend is over with because I had a lot of videos that were just cycling there, okay? So, um, this is going to be for you, Leo. Um, just a general read, and then we're going to pull for some laws of attraction, and some romance and some angels of abundance. So I'm really going to try to make this short and sweet as possible, Leo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. And for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, if it resonates, please type in Lala and um, hit the notification bell. So when I post, you notify, you're notified. And also, too, please feel free to subscribe, okay? So let's get it popping, my Leo, my strengths. Signs. Let me see the star. Uh oh, uh oh. So you know what, Leo? The um, the angels are here. Let me see the four of cups here. Hmm. Hmm. What's the bottom of that? The three of wands here. In reverse. So you know what I'm gonna say, Leo. Whatever this may be, you got the two of wands here, you got the nine of scrolls here, and you have the king of spirals here. Okay, the bottom of the deck is the three of wands here. So, what I'm hearing, Leo, is that you saying I got my own damn spot. <laughs> I'm good. This is what I'm getting here. I'm good. I'm good. You got your own spot, Leo. I, I just get the sense here because this is three of wands here in reverse. I feel like, Leo, you may have been dealing with someone who... Um, was not so loving. You got the Queen of Cups here in reverse here and then the Nine of Swords here. A lot of anxiety. So some of you all right now are just burnt out, tired of worrying about something here. This Queen of Cups can in reverse could actually be your energy too as well. You're being um, emotionally not attached to a person. I'm also getting some type of healing type of energy too as well with this um, with this star card here. I feel like the universe is here to heal your situation. You have the Four of Cups here, which means that um, an uh, opportunity was missed or something here that you were just bored with, um, Leo, that you just don't want to deal with anymore. And then you have the King of Spirals here in reverse, which is the King of Wands. So this could be dealing with someone's shenanigans here. We have a King of Wands here in reverse and a King of Cup and a Queen of Cups here in reverse. So this could possibly be a relationship. Okay, is what I'm getting here. The Three of Spirals here in reverse, which means that whatever this is, um, it's not going to move forward if this is dealing with love, okay? Let's see, Spirit. What else you want to tell us? What else you want to tell us, Spirit? This star card here and the two of wands here. What else you want to tell us, Spirit? See the page of cups here in reverse. I feel like, Leo, right now, you're just not emotionally unavailable for anyone right now. You just want to do your own thing. You want to set your own tone. Okay. Um, let me see. This Queen of Cups in reverse and a Nine of Squirrels in the, in the Tarot card. Something here you put an end to. Okay. Let me see what else we have here. The Four of Cups here. And the, yeah. There's something here, Leo, that you just lost the damn interest to and you're done with it. Like I said, I feel like right off the bat, the, the, the energy that I got from the read was that you're just going to do your own things and you're protected. And you're protecting your space. You're protecting your home front too as well as what I am getting here. Okay, the tower car has happened. Um, making, making a split decision. Somebody else could also too could have had you like in a third party situation too as well. And they had multiple lovers here with this two of scrolls here. But regardless of what, you don't call the tower in. So it really don't even matter at this point. But 
what I want you to know is that you have healing energy around you, Leo. If this is a tough time that you're dealing with this separation or this foolishness that is going on, going on, you have healing um, energy around you. Okay, let me see something. What is this this um this page of um cups in reverse? This page of cups is you know in reverse could be someone who's immature, or uh, who's not um their emotions is just all over the place. Someone who's not dependable, okay? In and out energy. What is this page of cups here in reverse here? What's this page of cups in reverse here, spirit? See, it's a situation that you're going to end. Okay, something you have to end here that you're going to have to um, be able to heal from. What about this tarot card here? Oh, no. What's this tarot card here for Leo? What's this tarot card here for Leo spirit? community okay so dealing with this person the community something has ended a family member family situation tower moment has happened okay i feel like you are no longer emotionally available what is what about this two of swords here but 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 for what for whatever is worth on um, leo the fact that you start off with the star card this is all healing energy not necessarily for the people that is involved, but this is healing energy for you. I feel like you're just going to stay put, like, you know, but then you're going to protect yourself at all costs. Because see here, this Ten of Cups in reverse, you was emotionally unfulfilled, okay? And look at here, the Strength card here in reverse, I'm hearing like, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. Staying into a situation that is not going to grow, okay? People keep doing the same shit. Same script. No one's trying to uplift. Nobody's trying to move ahead. This Ace of Mirror in reverse. This is the Ace of Cups. This is this is this is the energy of feeling emotional fulfilled, and it's sort of like people take their time on you. Okay, Seven of Cups. Always thinking that Leo is going to be um available, and no, that's not necessarily true. What is this Two of Scrolls here, Spirit? You have to decide what new beginning you want. In other words, Spirit is saying the new beginning that you want on Leo from all of this healing energy, you, you have the power to make it happen. Okay? That's what Spirit is saying with that child card here. Okay? Let me see, Spirit. What else? Now, we're going to go to the laws of attraction. Some of y'all could have lost a loved one too as well with this coffin card. I'm getting into this, getting into as well. You could also be a widow or widower, okay? So you're going to be healing from all this. Spirit is there. The healing energy is there. And now you have a new beginning here. Oh, my goodness. This is a star card. So let's pull from the laws of attraction. Spirit, what else you want to tell Leo? The laws of attraction. How they can pull this positivity in. What's this laws of attraction? Give us a card here. Security. I choose to feel secure and to work so that my bank account is full. So Spirit wants you to just start on focusing on Leo. Okay. Go ahead on. Like I said, that three of wands was in reverse. But then you have the two of sources. So this is all about you breaking ground. I feel solo. Okay. Security. The security is there. Okay, you're gonna be you're gonna find work and some of you are looking for work. Security is there. Instincts. I act on my instincts. Notice the signs and symbols of my life. Okay. What is this? 
opportunity. I am always ready to take advantage of opportunities presented to me. I feel like, Leo, like you're about to go through this new cycle, especially with this Four of Cups. There's something about your life here that you feel like you need to change. Like I said, this could have happened because something here ended. Whether if it's a physical death, something here has ended. And you just like you want a new leash on life. So security, instincts, and opportunity. I'm always ready to take advantage of opportunities presented to me. So what does that tell you? That tells you, Leo, that you're going to have to make like certain type of changes for these opportunities to come to you. Okay, a whole new different type of script. There's some things that you got to just abandon ship on and move forward. Because you got the two of spirals here. You do. You have it here and it's upright, right up underneath the star card. So for some of you, if you feel like you're not going to be on like breaking ground or how is something going to happen or how is something going to go through, it's going to happen with you with the further you for the two of sc scrolls because you're here. Spirit got you with the star card there. Okay, let's see here. The abundance, what else you want to tell Leo? want to tell Leo okay successful funding your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that gave you the idea do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning into reality crowdfunding partnerships and other investments are available to help you did you hear that Leo this is what I'm saying that four of cups taking the opportunity Okay, the opportunity is there, Leo. You got to go get it. I'm going to read this again. Crowdfunding partnerships and other investments are available to you. Okay, this is all coming up, up under security and opportunity. You have to go search and look for it. I'm telling you, the stars are there for you. What else, Spirit? The gratitude list. Con counting your blessings and feeling gratitude for what you already have helps you to be entered centered in your heart instead of fixated on worries in your mind what and who you are grateful for right now keep focusing upon gratitude and you'll discover the amazing generosity of the universe absolutely absolutely so just be like you know universe i'm happy i'm happy for what i have opportunity knocks here you have a whole new beginning you have to decide on what is it that you want to do a lot of y'all, you know, this bored energy, a lot of y'all are really bored with your life right now. I feel that with the Four of Cups. And, you know, it could be also, too, some of y'all could be dealing with a lack of motivation, too, as well. Like, this Two of Spiral that's giving me, it's giving me energy like some of y'all have started something and then you have stopped. You have stopped. You, for some strange reason, I'm getting a feeling that some of you have stopped. You, 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 you stopped having a love of something. It may possibly was like too difficult or life got in the way, okay, with this nine of scrolls here, but it just stopped. But spirit is telling you to get back on that horse again and ride it. Okay. What else, spirit? We have a card here for Leo. Clearing debts. Everybody getting this, which means we all need to work on our debts and face them. And when we work on our debts, no matter how large it is, and you start tackling, you're going to start feeling more control over your life. That's one thing about it. When you start acting upon your life for your life to be better, especially financially, and you start taking investments and started being proactive in your security, you will be better. You will feel better because now you feel um it, like now you're in control well let me re read this your self-care involves removing the heavy burden of financial and emotional debts from your life you already feel lighter and freer just by facing this topic and making a plan to clear present obligations and avoid future ones as well this is why you got the child card here in the beginning and you, you got three transformations here coffin the tower and the child Okay, do the work. Remember when I was telling y'all how I feel like some of y'all fell off on something? Do the work. It's not enough to dream or pray. 
you also got to take the positive action steps that you are being divinely guided to take consistently. Working on your priorities will make them flourish like a lush flower garden. Some of y'all started something and then you stopped. You can't do that. You will be in the same situation, the same position, bored with life, looking at everybody else's life on YouTube and other channels when, it's, when it can be you. You got to put the work in. Do the work. Last but not least. Let's see what's going on with this angel romance here, Spirit. What you want to tell um, Leo about um, their romance? What you want to tell Leo? Somebody need a separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. And this is why some of you could possibly have been thrown off. And I'm going to tell, tell you with that card, too, that separation could also be family and friends, too. Okay? Because you're seeing things differently. I just get this picture y'all sitting on the couch and say, life got to be better than this. And it is. Once you go after it, give me two more cards here, Spirit. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious, by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Okay. Some of y'all could be dealing with that right now. Some of y'all could be spiritualists and y'all, the person that y'all with could just be into religion. Or this is somebody who's up and coming. But that separation, I feel like this is like right now. Children, your love life is being affected by children. So some of y'all may come across a person where you're on where you have a blended family um, with someone. At the bottom of the deck was the unrequited love. That's not. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. This could be the energy of this right now. So with that being said, Leo, do the work. Stay focused. Get back on your grind. Clearing your debts. Be more in control of your finances. Take your finances head on. Okay, that's what you need to do. Take your finances head on and you'll be more in control and you'll find yourself like not being bored with life because you're clearing. Because I'm getting the energy like a lot of y'all are just really bogged down. You feel like you just got so much to clear out. Just start, just, just, just take it one day at a time. Okay, and I'll see you next time. Bye.